I want to talk today on the topic Saviors on Mount Zion. Saviors on Mount Zion. We see in Obadiah verse 21, it says, Then Saviors shall come, Saviors shall come to Mount Zion, or if we should put it in our own contemporary language, Saviors shall arise on Mount Zion. Saviors shall arise from Mount Zion for what purpose? To judge the mountains of Esau, which is a symbol of the world. How are we going to reclaim the seven mountains back to God? Seven mountains symbolize the mountains of influence, the mountains of power, the institutions that hold the power and authority to control this world. So God knows about these mountains. And, but mainly, these mountains are under the, world, the system of the world. So the world is controlling these mountains. But God says, in the last day, there shall be a group of people that, should, that will be raised up from the church. Because Mount Zion symbolizes the church. Mount Zion refers to the church. That a time is coming when the church shall begin to produce a group of people. A unique group of people. And these people shall be known as saviors. Why are they saviors? They are going to save the mountains of the of, 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 of the earth, the mountains of this world. They are going to reclaim them back, going to deliver them from the hand of the infidel, from the control and the power of darkness. The kingdom of this world shall become the kingdom of our God through the reclaiming back of all the mountains of influence of our world. We are not just supposed to be saved and then be waiting for to go to heaven. We have been saved so that we will become saviors. We have been delivered so that we will become deliverers. So the purpose of Jesus goes beyond just saving us. He wants to convert us to his nature and he wants us to become saviors like himself. Saviors that will be coming from the church. That is why he set up the church in the first place. So that the church will become a breeding ground. The church will become a bedrock of raising and lifting up, breeding saviors. But the saviors are children of God who have discovered who they are in God. Are children of God who have identified their identity, their calling and their authority. Children of God who knows who is in them. Children of God who have come to the the realization that the kingdom of God is in them. The kingdom of God is in you, children of God who have come to realize that they are the light of the world, children of God who have come to know that they are the salt of the earth, children of God who know their identity, children of God who know their power, children of God who are not afraid of Satan, children of God who are not afraid of the demonic forces of this world, children of God who know the God they believe in, children of God who know that greater is he that is in them than he that is in the world. Those children of God have matured. They have become sons. And they are the ones that become to, they begin to take authority. They begin to take power and authority over spheres of influence. They begin to claim spheres of influence. They begin to look for their identity. They begin to look for their areas of their passion. They begin to look for spheres, land of promises, spheres of life, mountains that they could conquer for God. You know, they they become giants for God. They become champions for God. You know, they subdue mountains for God. How am I manifested at the sun? I'm manifested at the sun in the territory that I go to claim back for God. So when you go, identify your own mountain of influence, your own area of passion, your own area of calling, and you have developed yourself not just in God to become a son, but you have also developed yourself to become a son in that sphere of life, to become an authority there, to become the most influential person there, the most knowledgeable, knowledgeable there. Become, by becoming the first, you are manifesting the glory of God that is in you. By becoming the first, you are manifesting because you become the leader. By becoming the leader over, over that territory, over that sphere of life, you are manifesting the glory of God in you. The church should be a place of raising saviors, on raising not just sons, but sons that will be released to become deliverers and to become saviors to all other mountains that are still under the influence uh, of the world.